After two years of travelling through space, NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft has taken its first images of its mission target, the asteroid Bennu. The new images will act as calibration tools for more detailed images to be taken next month using colour filters. OSIRIS-REx was launched back on September 8, 2016, on a two-year journey to the primitive diamond-shaped asteroid Bennu arriving last month. These first images have been obtained using Polycam, one of three cameras aboard the spacecraft. They were taken at a distance of 330 kilometres above the asteroid surface. During the bare minute elapsed time between the first and last of the eight exposures, the asteroid rotated some 1.2 degrees. The team used a super high resolution algorithm to combine the eight images, producing a higher resolution view of the asteroid. These first images capturing the entire asteroid are used for an important number of calibrations that are fundamental to correctly interpreting the results obtained from higher resolution images using different colour filters. In December, scientists will start to obtain images using the MapCam camera. That uses colour filters to allow researchers to generate maps studying the geographical distribution of different minerals on Bennu, including silicates altered by the presence of liquid water. These studies will also help to select a region on the asteroid surface where samples can be collected for return back to Earth in 2023. 101955 Bennu is a carbonaceous Apollo group asteroid, meaning it's a near or near-Earth object with an orbit that intersects with and crosses Earth's orbit around the Sun. Bennu is classified as a B-type carbonaceous asteroid, generally similar to C-type carbon asteroids, but with surface spectra suggesting anhydrous silicates, hydrated clay minerals, organic polymers, magnetite and sulphides. The 492 metre wide space rock currently has one of the highest known chances of hitting the Earth, with a 1 in 2,700 chance of impacting our planet between 2175 and 2199. On average, an asteroid the size of Bennu can expect to crash into Earth roughly once every 130,000 years or so. If Bennu were to hit the Earth, the resulting impact would be equivalent to 1,200 megatons of TNT. Bennu's orbit is intrinsically dynamically unstable. Dynamical studies have predicted a series of eight potential Earth impacts by Bennu between 2169 and 2199, none exceeding a 0.071% chance of impact. Bennu will pass 750,000 kilometres above the Earth on the 23rd of September 2060. And that close approach is crucial because it will affect the next close encounter on September the 25th, 2135. That's expected to be at around 300,000 kilometres, although it could be as close as 100,000. Now, there's no chance of an Earth impact in 2135. But depending on how the asteroids affected by that close encounter with Earth, future encounters with our planet start to get really interesting. That's because the asteroid could pass through this 55 kilometre wide, well, it's a sort of gravitational keyhole, and that could create an impact scenario in a future encounter. On the 25th of September 2175, there's a 1 in 24,000 chance of an impact with Earth. But the nominal 2175 approach will be in February, at a distance of roughly 15 million kilometres. The most threatening chance of impact will be on the 24th of September 2196, when there's a 1 in 11,000 chance of Bennu slamming into the Earth. All in all, that adds up to a cumulative 1 in 2,700 chance of an Earth impact between 2175 and 2199. Launched from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida aboard an Atlas V rocket on September 8, 2016, the 2,110 kg OSIRIS REx spacecraft is spending three years orbiting the asteroid Bennu, mapping the space rock's surface and geology, studying its evolution, composition, chemistry, and mineralogy. One of the mission's key objectives will involve understanding non gravitational influences on the asteroid, such as the Yakovsky effect, in which sunlight heats up the surface of an asteroid. And that heat is then radiated back into space as the asteroid rotates, in the process providing a small amount of thrust. So, knowing Bennu's physical properties will be crucial for scientists trying to determine the likelihood of this mountain-sized asteroid slamming into the Earth. In July 2020, OSIRIS-REx will fly down and hover just above Bennu's surface, extending a robotic arm to collect up to 2 kilograms of pristine asteroid regolith for sample return to Earth. The spacecraft is slated to leave orbit around Bennu in March 2021, with the sample return capsule then being jettisoned for a parachute landing in the Utah desert in September 2023.